Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're continuing work on our low poly stylized cottage. This time working on the lighting and creating atmosphere. Do check out the other playlist on my channel. You can also go to my website gabbit.co.uk which has all my free courses in order. Also if you like what I do then you can check out my new character course. It takes you right from nothing through to making a great game character. Okay so here's where we got to last time and let's try and add a bit more atmosphere to this render. So at the moment we're in material preview mode and we need to go across to render mode. And already actually that adds a bit of atmosphere because we've got a light in the scene and we start seeing a few more shadows. You can also see a bit of the difference between the materials I've made rough and those that are still shiny. So the ground here looks far too shiny. So I'm in the edit mode with this lamp at the moment so I'll just press tab to come out of that back into object mode and click on the ground. Let's make sure that roughness is up nice and high and suddenly it gives that nice soft look. And it's worth just going around and checking some of these materials, making sure they're not too glossy and they're nice and rough. Okay, so that should be fine now. So the first thing I'm going to do is make these emission shaders glow. Now the render engine we're using at the moment is Eevee. If I come across to the render tab here, render properties, and change the render engine to cycles, suddenly those lamps will give off a light and that's much more atmospheric. The only problem with using cycles is it takes a long time to render, so it's much easier to use EV if we can get away with it. I'll zoom into this section slightly so we can see it a bit easier. And let's click on one of the windows. You can see it's got an emission shader and the limitations of EV mean that it's not giving off light. There's two things we can do. Firstly, we can add bloom. So I'll click on the bloom there and suddenly it gives anything that's got a brightness a glow to it. So if we click on the drop down menu here, the threshold is what's being made bloomy. <laughs> and the defaults are fine but if you want to put the intensity up you can with this intensity slider here so also we can fake some light coming from these objects as well just by using lights so if I shift right click in this area here shift A to add and add a light point light and a point light gives off light in all directions so I'll just press G then Y and move that forwards so it looks like it's coming out that window so let's look at the properties of that light by coming down to the object data properties here change this to a yellowy color to match the window and we can put the power up just a touch to something like 50 watts. And that's just about working but it's causing a shadow on these areas. In fact for the windows I don't think I did use a light but I will use one for the lamp so I'll bring that down to where the lamp is and overlap the lamp. Now if we turn up the radius we can make it sit inside the lamp or come outside like this and that's what we want. We want it to be coming out from the lamp just like it is here. So that's a good start and it's adding a nice lot of atmosphere. The color of this light is a bit too white and bright. So first of all I'm going to change that to a sun lamp so it's just going to be a directional light coming from the top here. So if I click on sun suddenly everything blows out. That's because the strength is way too high. It's set to a thousand. We only need this on one. And then we can change the color from a white to a blue and then suddenly it will look like nighttime. I might just adapt that slightly as I see fit and that's great so we've got this blue light coming from here giving the illusion of moonlight now the last thing that's affecting our scene and still offering light is the background so the background is all gray at the moment if I come down here to where it says object and change that to world we can see our background and you can see it's gray here if I change this to white it suddenly makes everything bright and if I change it to black then it makes everything look like the night time. The problem if I take it all the way to black is that the shadows are really stark which might actually be okay in what you're looking for and it certainly does give it a nice atmosphere. I always like to give a little bit of light to my scene so you can either turn this up very slightly and maybe give it a sort of bluish color as well to sort of indicate night time and I think that looks better already. We can possibly go a little bit brighter than that somewhere around there and that makes it much less contrasty and the shadows aren't too dark and we can still make out the objects. However, some of you might like to go a step further and add an HDRI to your scene. If I come across to material preview mode, you can see the results of the HDRI that they put in the background and you can see it's very bright. Well, we can do the same in render mode, but I'm going to choose a nighttime HDRI. For this, I'm going to go to a site called HDRI Haven and click on the HDRIs here and they've got some nighttime ones here and you can choose any of these that you see fit. The one I'm using is the Moonless Golf Course. So if we go back into Blender, in order to add that in, you press Shift A to add 
texture and you choose environment texture not image texture so I'll choose that if you hook it up now it will all go purple because there's no texture loaded in so if you've got a purple scene that's why it's lost your texture somehow maybe you've moved it so if I press open here go to my HDRI folder and choose the moonless golf course okay so you can see the light that that's offering to our house it's got a sort of greeny orangey glow to it from these different lights here which is good but it's a bit too powerful so I'm going to turn this down to about 0.2 and that's a lot more moody and I really like it so that concludes this section in the next section I'll be talking more about volumetric lighting and just adding those last elements to make the scene really work remember to comment below about how you're getting on or join the discord server and share your work there thanks for watching and I'll see you next time